Hello friends, what's up? Welcome in the world of Maths by MEA. In this learning concept video, we try to learn few formulae and solve the question which is in front of you. The question number one is, for positive integers a, b, c, we have an expression, the value is 748 and another expression, the value is 252, then we have to find a square plus b square plus c square. And the second question is, for positive integer a, b, c and d, we have an expression and the value is 105 another expression and the value is 104 and we need to find a plus b plus c plus d before solving this question we should know few formulae and the formulae or expressions are in front of you we just need to observe one thing here one then a plus b a b here one a plus b plus c a b b c c a a b c here again one a till d a b a c and another expression a, B, C, B, C, D, C, D, A, D, B, A and A, B, C, D. If we observe the expressions, we can say the first term is 1. 1 is in all derivations. Then we have plus sigma A. Sigma A means variable taken single at a time. A plus B, A plus B plus C, all are the single terms. A plus B plus C plus D. Then we say sigma A, B. Product taking two at a time, then summation A, B. A, B, B, C, C, A, all terms have two variables, then sigma A, B, C, that is sigma A, B, C, then last one is sigma A, B, C, D. If we are working for 1 sigma A, sigma A, B, then derivation is A plus 1, B plus 1. If we are working till sigma A, B, C, 1 plus sigma A plus sigma A, B plus sigma A, B, C, then our derivation is A plus 1, B plus 1, C plus 1. Till a, b, c, d, that is a plus 1 into b plus 1 into c plus 1 into d plus 1. So, whenever we have sigma a, sigma a, b, sigma a, b, c or sigma a, b, c, d terms, we just need to add 1 if it is missing and we convert the whole series in the product of the different variables terms. I hope it is clear. Now, solve our question based on this observation. Now, solve question number 1. We have a plus b plus c means we have sigma a. We have ABC means we have sigma ABC. We have AB, BC, CA. We have sigma AB. If we add all three, means if we add these two expressions, we have sigma A plus sigma AB plus sigma ABC. The LHS becomes this one and the summation of and 252 is nothing but 1000. But we know for the factorization, we need to add extra one in the both the sides. After adding extra ones, RHS becomes 1001 and this becomes nothing but A plus 1, B plus 1 and C plus 1. Now we need to factorize 1001 which is nothing but 7 into 11 into 13. Since here we have similarity A plus 1, B plus 1, C plus 1. So we can take any values as of A plus 1, another value should be B plus 1, another value should be C plus 1 because we are not considering ordered pair because we are going for the summation in the summation there is no need of the ordered pair so take a plus 1 is 7 so a becomes 6 b plus 1 is 11 so b becomes 10 c plus 1 is 13 so c becomes 12 and we need to do what a square plus a square plus a square is nothing but 36 plus 100 plus 144 and this is nothing but 280. So our answer is 280. So whenever you have sigma A, sigma ABC, sigma AB, add other terms, add extra one and factorize. I hope it is clear. Now solve the second question. Do we have these type of terms? Yes, we do have. We have ABCD means sigma A, sigma ABC, AB, AC, AD means sigma AB and ABCD. So if we add these two expressions, we have nothing but sigma A plus sigma AB plus sigma ABC plus sigma ABCD adding left hand side and the right hand side we have nothing but 209 and when we have sigma AB these sort of terms we add one in the both the sides to factorize it that becomes 210 and the factorization of this one is nothing but A plus 1 B plus 1 C plus 1 D plus 1 and we need to factorize 210 and 210 is nothing but 2 into 3 into 5 into 7. I hope it is clear. So A plus 1, this is A plus 1, B plus 1, C plus 1, D plus 1 would take any values because we are going for the summation and summation is always unordered. 
So take a plus 1 is 2, so a becomes 1, b plus 1 is 3, so b becomes 2, c plus 1 is 5, so c becomes 4, d plus 1 is 7, so d becomes nothing but 6 and we need to go for a plus b plus c plus d. So 1 plus 2 plus 4 plus 10 is nothing but 13. So our answer is 13. I hope it is clear. Even if you have any doubt, feel free to ping me on Facebook or on this YouTube video thread. Thank you and happy learning.